The structure of the hippocampus has been um, well studied for a while. So it's a very uh, nice network of neurons, very neatly arranged. So we know quite a lot about the structure. And what we know also, and the very nice thing is that this structure is also um, um, very well linked to an amazing functional structure. So um, we are getting one step towards function. And uh, because the hippocampus is really a, a, able to produce in various conditions um, sequences of neuronal activity. So where neurons are active one after another in a very, either in a, rep a repetitive way. And this functional structure really mirrors now the function of the hippocampus, which is to uh, travel in space or travel in time or to support episodic memory or spatial cognition. So that's a... Uh, that's what we know. So how these sequences are hardwired in the hippocampal networks is still not completely solved, but we are getting um, towards it now that we have identified this middle step about the functional structure. In a very uh, general way, the hippocampus is really the, the, the area that, that hosts memory circuits, okay? And so it has a function in um, spatial cognition, knowing where you are. It's the, the structure where you can find place cells. It's also a structure um, supporting episodic memory, so the memory of the past events. And, uh, and then it's a structure also very frequently in involved in um, disorders such as temporal lobe epilepsy. For me, it's really a model of, um, it's a great structure to um, study structure function relationships in a way uh, as you just started the, the interview with uh, because we know a lot about the structure and because um, the function of the hippocampus is mirrored in its uh, spontaneous dynamics so that's uh, that's one of the reasons why I think uh, it's interesting to focus on the hippocampus and now that I've been studying the hippocampus for a while I also think um, it's a great structure because of its functioning memory obviously it's uh, fascinating to understand the circuit basis of memory in a way. We are really trying to understand what is uh, um, in the coding of information in the hippocampus, what is uh, internal coding, what is really something that is uh, um, hardwired and that comes from self-organization of activity, and what is uh, really shaped by the environment, so by the external influences like sensory inputs, uh, context in general. So that's one thing that we are really interested in. And, um, and we, one way to address this issue is linking the, the adult condition of the hippocampus with the way it develops. That's been a strategy I've been using in my lab for a while, like using development as a way to understand the, the wiring in the adult condition.